Hey everybody, Eva Zacharia here with some crafting etiquette tips to make your DIYs a success from the start. First up, a crafting shirt, especially if you're using glue, paint, glitter, or markers, anything you don't want on your clothes, find a shirt that you're not so attached to. It can be your cleaning shirt, an old pajama shirt, that tie-dye t-shirt that you made your freshman year of college that you can't bring yourself to part with but really don't have a use for. Wear it every time you craft. Next up, hair up. If you have short hair, try a headband like this one to keep your hair out of your face. And if you're like me and you have long hair, put it up. Use a hair clip because that'll prevent any more unnecessary breakage and you don't wanna always be popping an elastic band into your hair, especially if you're growing it out for your big day. So get that out of the way if you're wearing any earrings or dangling necklaces that might, if you're bending down to work on a project, get in the way, take those off too. And last but not least, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. You wanna take off all of your jewelry because you don't wanna get your craft supplies on that. You don't wanna get paint on your ring or risk loosening any of your settings. And also, especially wrist jewelry will really get in the way while you're crafting. Nail polish. I know, I know you want your nails to always look gorgeous so you can show off your sparkler, but craft at the end of your manicure or make that nail polish remover your friend and craft with plain nails. You don't wanna risk getting a dark color on your paper or your paint if you're crafting, and you also don't wanna chip those manis. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at WeddingsMadeEasy. Head to the website at MadeEasyDIY.com and like and subscribe on YouTube. Happy crafting.